right, Coach, uh, including yourself, uh, you had a team on Saturday that uh, was banked up, some injuries, uh, illness, and uh, but you guys uh, overcame it. Uh, you guys uh, swept the season series with Chico. Chico, during the night first place, you sweep them. Um, you guys uh, also get a win against Stanislaus. Definitely uh, uh, just uh, probably one of the better weeks uh, that you guys have had all season long. It is a great weekend, uh, a lot of perseverance, uh, toughness, mental toughness and physical toughness on our part, uh, overcoming uh, a lot of odds and, and some hurdles. And I was very proud of our basketball team. Our guys uh, really showed a lot of courage and very, very proud of them on what they accomplished with the Stanislaus win and the Chico State win. Uh, to be able to beat two top tier teams uh, and obviously Chico State, our rival, be able to sweep them this year and, and keep our home streak alive at 10 wins. Uh, you know, it was a great weekend, and, and uh, we'd love to, ch you know, talk about it and cherish it and, and live it, but we need to move on. And uh, Alan Gway, our, our, one of our great guards, our senior leader here, uh, has a great philosophy, and I'm kind of picking up on it myself. Uh, I, like, I like the way he goes about his business. After a win or loss by midnight that night, you know, we look ahead. We, we, look, we look towards the future. It's a great way to approach each week and, and the next game. So I really like the, the, the feel of that, and we've been living with that uh, the last month, month or two, and it's been working. And during the final two weeks of regular season, there's a bunch of stuff uh, in the conference at the top, and you guys continue uh, to move up. But you know, obviously, you want to get into the conference tournament, you want to get into the West Regionals. But you know, obviously, with the seedings, with the look at, I mean, it's huge when you can look at it and say, hey, you have two wins against Chico, just what you've done against the other teams that are, uh, you know, the top tier in the conference, they're going to look back at that, and that, that's important for you guys. It is. Uh, you know, in terms of West region ranking, you know, we're taking a look at that, and, and our record looks good, and, and we've had some significant wins. Beating Chico State twice uh, is a huge, uh, two huge regional wins. Stanislaus itself is a big win. You see San Diego. Uh, we've beaten everybody except Cal State San Bernardino. And Pomona, um, you know, we would love to see Cal State San Bernardino in the future uh, if we make the tournament. Uh, I know our guys want that, and they want that challenge one more time. And uh, we do get Pomona at home at the end of the season here. We're looking forward to that game, uh, but we do have Cal State Monterey Bay on, on our sights, and and uh, we're very proud of what we've accomplished so far, though. Um, Road trip this week. Uh, you talk about uh, the opponents facing the bays in Monterey and East Bay, and the uh, final regular season uh, road trip. You just kind of talk about that for this week. Yeah, you know, we have a new goal, and, and that's to sweep on the road. And it's something we haven't done this this year. And uh, the splitting is always, uh, you know, a, a formula for success in the CC two A because uh, how difficult each opponent is, especially on the road. However, uh, you know, we're trying to go in and. and be the Cal State Monterey Bay team who's, who has every uh, intention to, to beating us at their location. If they beat us, they're in the hunt for the CC2A tournament. So they're playing for everything. Uh, everything's on the line for them. And uh, they're right on our tail. And if we can get a huge game of separation on them and move the tournament, uh, it'd be great for us. Uh, being able to take care of business at Cal State East Bay next night, you know, 24 hours later, is going to be a tough task getting up there and getting situated for that game, but uh, that's what the CC2A holds. How, yeah, how exciting the fact that uh, you guys have a chance for the conference title, uh, get into the conference tournament, just everything that, that you guys are playing for right now, the final two weeks. It's, it's uh, obviously in our sights. Uh, I probably spent too much time looking at that, uh, but it is exciting, and, and we're really happy to be able to be talking in terms of the playoffs and, and getting in the CC2A tournament, being one of the top six. This year, it's only they only take the top six. Typically, it's been eight. Uh, so we're we're right there. Uh, we've got a three-game lead over uh, Sonoma and Monterey Bay. They're right on our tails. If, if we slip up, I'm sure they'll catch us and want to go ahead. So we got to be careful about how we go about one game at a time. And we certainly can ride our own fate by winning. If we win two out of the four, we're in. Uh, if we win one out of the four, it's probably marginal on what happens. Uh, if we lose all four, we probably won't get in. And uh, like I said, if we win three or four out, out of the four, we could be looking the other direction 
had running down Chico and Pomona for a conference championship.